Hey, welcome to the show. Today we're dividing a four digit number by a two digit number. Ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. First of all, I want to send out a special thank you to one of my subscribers for requesting this problem. So thank you very much. I'm always looking at the comments. All right, let me clear the screen right here and we're going to get right into this problem. So when you do problems like that, um, it, it's a big number, isn't it? It's a very big number. And I know my multiplication, but I don't know all the multiples of 15. So that's okay. So we're going to do a little figuring off to the side to figure this problem out. Um, so first of all, can, I can't put 15 into 7, can I? I'm going to have to put 15 into 73. And how many times? Well, let's figure that out. So I, I think I can figure out what 15 times 2 is. 15 plus 15 would be 30. So if I have 30 in 30, that would be 60. So I'll show you what I mean. So I have 15 times 4. So 5 times 4 would be 20. Carry the 2 and then 4, 5, 6. So 15 times 4 is 60. Can I fit any more in there? If I take 60 plus another 15, that's going to be 75. Too big, too big. Let's stick with 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 4 right above that 3 right here. So I'm going to put 4 right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and take 4 times 15, which is 60. So I go ahead and write 60 right here. And then my next step is going to be subtraction. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract these numbers. 3 minus 0 is 3. And then 7 minus 6 is 1. Now, I know you're looking at that number. It's like, well, that's a double digit number. Don't worry. Remember, I can't put 15 in the 13, can I? So the next step is we're going to drop the next number down. When I talk about drop the next number down, we're just going to bring this all the way down here. All right. So sometimes I like putting a little line there and then I put the three right here. So now I got, I got a pretty big number, don't I? I have to put 15 into 133. That's all right. So we're going to take now look at this, 15 times 4 is 60, so if I double 60, that would be 120. So let's take a look at this. Let's say 15 times 8, because I'm doubling 8. I'm trying to come as close as I can right over here to 133. So let's take 5 times 8 would be 40, all right? So I put the 0 here, put the 4 up there, and now I take 8 times 1 is 8 plus the 4 right there, so that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I put 12 right here. I think that's about as big as I can go, because if I put 15 plus 120, that's going to be 135. Too big! So we're going to keep it at 8. So I'm going to go ahead and put 8 right here. 8 times 15 would be 120. So I put 120 right here. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And so I put the 3 down here and then the 1 right there. All right. So we still have some more to do here. And then it's getting crowded on the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, select all this right here. I love working on smart boards. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can work with this. All right. Let's bring that over here. All right. I think I got enough room now to work. Okay, my next step is I need to bring this number down. So I'm going to bring this all the way down here. And this will be my 5. So now I have to put 15 into 135. Hmm, let's try 9. Let's see what 9 looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put 15 times 9. So 9 times 5 would be 45. And put the 4 up here. And then 9 times 1 is 9. And then 9 plus 4 would be 13. Look at that. Look at that. That number equals that. Bingo. We did it. Yeah, we did it. So we're going to put 9 right here. So 9 times 15 would be 135. And we're going to go ahead and subtract. And we have a remainder of 0. That means... we. We don't even have to put that remainder up there. That's the answer right there. That was an awesome problem. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, um, requesting that. I, I always enjoy uh, looking at the comments. 
And um, right now, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some comments here. I always like I'm always going to try like at the end of my math shows, uh, do some fun stuff there if you're still on there, and if the teacher allows you to spend a little extra time with me. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some comments. And all right, so we have um, here we have STST commented. When I was at school, everybody knew that. Yeah, I'm glad you learned that. So sometimes um, people from all around the world, we learn mathematics sometimes a little different way. Um, it's not wrong. There's so many different ways on how to achieve a problem as long as you get, get to the right answer. So it's okay. Um, I always try to teach my students different ways on how to add and multiply and just um, make math fun. Um, we have a comment from Rides, Roads, and Eats um, commented, I'm enjoying your mini math lessons today. Thanks for posting them. Well, thank you very much. I like the picture of the dog. I, is that your dog right there? I wonder if it is. It's a cute little dog there. So um, we have Robbie Robinson commented, learned this in elementary school. It is called division. <laughs> yeah, that is. And so we have also here, Sir Bud commented, I love these. So um, I'm doing a lot of like shorts. So if you check out my channel, I sure appreciate you hit that subscribe button. Um, I have a lot of fun shorts on there. And when I'm recording, I have to be able to get all of my math uh, figured out in less than a minute. They only give me a minute to make shorts, but I'm having fun with that. And um, another person, cute K K Awan K Awan, um, said, "Thank you. I understand division. I'm always it always I'm always glad that I'm able to help you. Um, it's amazing. I'm able to help people um, and be a part of their lives all around the world. Uh, just the other day, there was somebody from Pakistan and then India, um, South America. I'd, I'm always curious where you you all live and and just." A little part of your life. Maybe sometimes you let me know what kind of cookie you like, or or maybe a pet that you uh, that you have. So um, another one we have. Master Lobster said and is requesting a uh, a problem there. Or it said 128 times 10 is 1,280. All right. And so um, this person right here, that's the one we just did. This was Nisreen Ashri commented. What about seven? Was that the one we just did? Um, let me see, 7,335. I do so many problems, I, I, I forgot which one I just did. Um, yes, that was the one we just did. So thank you very much for doing that. All right, um, let's go back here. And let's take a look at a couple more here. Um, but thank you very much, Nasreen Ashri. So thank you very much. Um, then we have another one. Um, you seem like an awesome teacher. You know what? Um, I, I do enjoy teaching. I do teach third grade, and but I, I, I love going and teaching here on my YouTube channel. I do have other YouTube channels. One is called Dino Math. I'll have a link uh, to that one. If you take a look right there, that's a link to my new channel called Dino Math. We do a lot of Beyblades, dinosaurs. I just like dinosaurs, and I got my Godzilla shirt on right now. And we also do a lot of math problems. I'd sure appreciate it. If you can help me get that channel started, if you can go over there and hit that subscribe button, take a look at some of those uh, videos on there, and uh, let me know what you think. So let's take a look at a couple more here. We have Milk Tobo commented, wow, great content. I hope you get a windfall to pay your mortgage, <laughs> but try some actually um, good content. All right. So, um, and we have uh, just different um, requests on here. So I'm I'm always trying to, you know, um, look at the comments and do some of the problems. Hey, we are also going to be doing a live show coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks. So look for that. Um, it's going to be really fun. I'll be able to help you guys out live. And I'm, I'm kind of curious. I know some of you are from different countries, and I'm trying to figure out like a good time frame for that. But um, you know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some different shows. So um, I'm we're just we for the for the end of uh, 2024 and 2025, we're gonna be doing some amazing new things on this show, and I'm really liking this new smart board. So let me know what you think. Do you do you like the smart board? Do you like that? All right. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show for me and are with me today. And I hope you're going to have a great day out there. Get outside, get some exercise. Talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.